Welcome to Shawnee Union. This is we're going to talk about the Leica MDA. This is also the third week I've done a, um, a video in a row. So I'll give a little bit of backstory at the very end of this and um, about the reason why I'm going to make more videos. But to get back to it, Leica MDA, um, a very interesting Leica, a pretty rare one um, that people, not a lot of people bought for, for one main reason. Um, this is a microscope camera and Leica had three microscope cameras, the Leica MD, uh, the MDA, and then you have the MD2. All of these are made to be used with microscopes and have special lenses. They don't have a rangefinder at all. They don't have a viewfinder. So it's pretty silly to buy one. So who would buy something like this uh, other than someone like me who just likes wasting his money on cameras and stuff? Um, you would buy one of these if you like street photography and you are doing wide angle stuff. So so I picked up this camera because of a photographer named Matthew Stewart, and he shoots Leica too, and he shoots with a 35 millimeter lens. And he says with a 35 millimeter lens and using the hyperfocal distance, we'll talk about it in a second, you, you can shoot faster than out of focus, and he's right. So hyperfocal distance is a distance at which, if you set the camera, um, it sets a range of distance between, let's say, on, let's say looking at this, if I'm at f11, and I set infinity, and I look at the hyperfocal distance, Anything from 5.5 feet to infinity is gonna be in, in focus if I set my focus around 11 to 12 feet. And that's pretty amazing. And so he does this thing where he has two settings. He has this setting where everything from 5.5 feet to infinity is gonna be in focus and he has a secondary one where he gets every he gets the bottom range or the close range. So he puts the second range, he sets it at five feet, focusing at five feet. Everything from 3.5 feet to uh, nine feet is going to be in focus. So if there's something in the scene and it's within that close range, you switch to the close one and if there's something farther than that, you switch to the long one. So when you're going around shooting, you can cover almost everything. You have your close setting, that five feet, and you have your secondary setting, that 11 feet, and you can shoot all of that entire range in focus by just knowing those two, uh, knowing, remembering those two positions with your camera. So. When you're shooting, you know, street photography or even something, it's something where you're, you don't have a lot of time to set up and focus. This makes shooting just really simple. So the idea is you get a wider lens, at least 35 millimeters and wider. You get a viewfinder and then you memorize your focal, hyperfocal distances and you go out and you use this camera pretty much like a point shoot. So this camera becomes very similar to, um, a plastic point and shoot camera except way more expensive. So the body itself for this, going over this cost, um, the body I got for like two, a little bit over $200. I, I lowballed the guy on an offer. He was putting it for $300 um, by an hour. I think I just made an offer at $225 or $250 and, and I got it. That's a pretty good price on this. I've heard of even better prices. The lens is where it's gonna get pretty darn crazy. If you're gonna go Leica, this is the cheapest Leica 35 millimeter lens in M mount, the Sumeron um, F3.5. And it cost me like, to be honest, $300 and then another 150 to fix. It would have some lens separation. At that point when it had lens separation, I was like, well, they don't, they don't cost that much, but um, there's not too many options you have for like a, you, like, a Sumeron's gonna get into a grand and um, the older LTM stuff. You know, you may get a can or something like that. There's also Voigtlander makes a really great 35 millimeter f2.5 scope R that people rave about. So um, that may be an amazing option on this. You'd also have to get a, um, a optical viewfinder too. Those aren't pretty cheap. I got this one on KEH for like $30, so a pretty good deal, and it works fine. It is literally, and this is the Leica MD, the original one was built off the M3. This one was built off the M4. So this one's made in Germany. And then you have the um, MD2, which is the last one and built off the M42. So it feels exactly like a Leica. Um, the extremely smooth um, shutter advance. Everything's machined incredibly. Um, has that, you know, total Leica feel. It just doesn't have the, the viewfinder and the rangefinder. So for a lot of people, that's gonna be the biggest deal breaker. Um, if you're gonna get this and you're using anything other than something wider than 35 or 40, um, really no point unless you have you know, Unless you're doing something really really specific like you really do need to do microscopic microscopic stuff or you, um, If you're gonna get a 50 millimeter lens and try to convert this That's a waste of time and a waste of money. I think um, You're better off just saving up for real like a 
because there's I don't know how you convert it. I don't know I don't know if it has the ability to convert. I don't know if you can add the cams for the focusing and stuff like that. And I see it on message boards all the time. You know, I'm gonna get one of these and convert it. It's not that simple. I, and I wouldn't do it. I think these are cool enough cameras on their own that people should keep them in the state they're in. Um, and this one's like absolutely gorgeous. It's like just insanely pretty. So that's like MDA in use. And so what is it like shooting with that style? Um, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat. You know, I, I took one roll like that. I've taken, actually I've gone over two rolls like that. First roll, some of the stuff is out of focus, but when you're shooting at a, at a wider line, like 35, you really only do need those two um, uh, focal distances remembered and then you can get almost everything. So it makes shooting a little bit different. I think it you're a little bit more free with it and you're not, you know, you're not holding it up as fast. You're kind of going, getting it, getting it in the scene and click, and then it's over. So um, that's a totally different way of shooting. I'm not going to use this to go shoot like tattoo stuff or anything that I need to be accurate with. This is really specific for like trips and street shooting. Um, it would be something like you would take a fixed a fixed focal length lens, um, one of those you know plastic cameras like a Holger or something like that. Similar type of uh, thing. Um, a little bit more control, but not a lot of control because you can literally not see anything. Um, and so, I haven't seen any videos on the microscope cameras that go over the shooting process and why should you get them. Um, wanted to make one. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. Had some cool shots. Um, the lenses, the Leica lenses, of course, are going to be, you know, stellar, amazing. Um, and if you're going to get this and you want to have a cheap shooting experience and get the um, scope bar, the Voigtlander 35mm F2 scope bar, I think it goes for like 250 to 400. It's solid. I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it. And then now you have the uh, um, Artisans 35 F2 too. If anyone knows someone at 7 Artisans, I would love to try that lens out. <laughs> I would love to get a copy of that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video on the MDA. And I'm gonna see if you guys want to stick around. I'll talk a